Afternoon, everybody. I hope y'all are having a fine day. Mine's been pretty good. Went to my son's wrestling match. He won one and lost one. And uh, as the coach says, in wrestling, you either win or you learn. So he did a little bit of both. Good time. Well, we're back. And uh, in between the matches, I came across this little jewel here. Um, it's a kind of a strange landlord-tenant dispute. Um... I, I think y'all will enjoy this. Oh my. <laughs> After tracking down the defendant uh, uh, and, and serving the, the, the defendant with um, the subpoena paperwork on, on the date of August 24, 2022, a withdrawal was made from my account. Um, from defendants, from the defendant property owner in the amount of $746.44. That was October 24th. Now, the, the check, which I have a copy of, uh, dates back to December of last year. Okay, so, um, and this would have been the time when I was living at the defendant's uh, complex. Okay, let me stop you right now. I'm gonna let you talk, but let me stop you. Are we here today for a motion? Well, let me ask, okay, if you didn't file one, let me ask the defendant. You, my Steve, your name for that too. Yes, good morning, Your Honor. Michael Burwell on behalf of uh, Maple Village Apartments slash uh, Pike LLC. Your Honor, today was the time and date set for a creditor's exam pursuant to subpoena, uh, which was issued by this court at Plaintiff's request. Okay. That was the question. Okay. So there's a discovery creditor's exam here we go, November 25th, 10 o'clock. It was issued, I signed it September 28th. Has the, in response to this, has the amount of the judgment been paid? Yes, sir. How much was paid? Five, uh, $542. I have, uh, I can tender to the court a copy of the check that was sent to Mr. Alexander, which was cashed. Um, it was sent to him uh, by certified mail on November 9th. I have returned the receipt. But more importantly, is the cash check. Okay. Do you dispute that? I don't dispute that. Uh, that, that, that that is a factual matter that that occurred. I don't dispute that. I have a copy of the check there. Okay, so 542 has been paid. Does that clear up the matter? Does that end this? Well, if, if, we, if we go back, Your Honor, to where I was before you, you stepped in and you intervened, um, I was leading up. I was going to step in chronological order of events because there was a, a, a material event happened prior to that check being uh, sent to me. Okay, what was that? That material event was, again, let me go back to where I was, uh, the withdrawal of, 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 from my account on October 24th of this year, um, a check out of nowhere for $746.44, which I copy of. So- Okay, what is what is that represent? Oh, well, I'm getting, I'm getting to that. Um, so the that represents in my, in, in, uh, in my argument, uh, a fraudulent attempt by the defendant to undermine the justice in, in, this, in this case. So who went through the money? So the, well, well, the, the defendant. Uh, so the defendant withdrew a check that was issued that was that was issued by me as a rent payment back in December of last year. So I don't believe, and I hope the the court wouldn't reasonably believe that uh, a, a check that was issued last year would suddenly reappear and be cashed when litigation is ongoing. No one would reasonably believe without a, you know, a, 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 an explanation that, that that would happen and that would just be a coincidence. So okay. I, 7542 is being sought and 746 is being uh, withdrawn prior to that. Okay. Now, Your Honor, you may not think any, much of me, right? Uh, but you, you run a court, you run a courtroom and, you, and you're in the business of justice. So if an out-of-state company, yeah, I don't know, maybe some, maybe here and there, I, I get it. But so, but if an out-of-state company, which defendant is, is coming to your state and the state that you you have jurisdiction in and in, within your jurisdiction and is undermining justice, I would think you would care about that. So 
That's I want that just on record. I want that to be on record that this is what happened. Okay, I'm just trying to get at what happened here. The issue before the court today is there's a creditor's exam, which gives the judgment creditor the authority and the right to seek from the defendant who owes them money to try to determine what assets they might have to satisfy the judgment. In judgment amount 542, plus there might be an additional charge for the issuance of the subpoena. If they paid the 542, that pretty much dispenses with the necessity of the asset discovery subpoena. Now, the cashing of a check, I don't know what that represents. Do you still live in here? Uh, I, I moved out of the, the defendant's complex in uh, April of this year. So what I'm saying, so so this is not new to criminal, civil or criminal justice in America. The jurisdiction and, um, court system is where um, you know, uh, insidious uh, efforts or attempts to undermine justice take place. That's nothing novel. It's nothing new. You know, there's nothing new under the sun. I my argument, and 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 for and for that matter, I just want to be clear. I want just this to be on the record that the money justice was undermined here. Okay, 542 was sought. Y'all might want to pick your feet up. The, it's starting to get deep. Diligently, over time, resources were spent into that. And at the end of the day, um, I leave with a negative $200 um, um, walk away. I walk away negative $200 out of this whole process. So, you, you know, um, I want the, just that to be recorded. And... Um, and, and, and maybe, you know, defendant's attorneys here, maybe defendant attorney has an explanation of why suddenly, you know, 746 was withdrawn. Let's find um, out. Let's ask. Sure. Counsel, you know what he's referring to? No, Your Honor, I have no knowledge about that, but I will only uh, indicate that, uh, can I see that Mr. Alexander is talking about a check that was cut last December while apparently he was still living there. Uh, got nothing to do with his lawsuit. In his lawsuit, we have a default judgment, which has been satisfied. The judgment specifies what he's entitled to. He got what he's entitled to. Case over. Your, Your Honor, I think it's worth noting, and once is noted for the record, that defendant is based out of Ohio, the state of Ohio. The bank, uh, my bank account, uh, is held by Huntington Bank. Huntington's headquarters are in Columbus, Ohio. I just want that, I want that uh, just, uh, and that's another coincidence. You know, there's a lot of coincidences popping up. You well, know? there's a check and it's dated, appears to be dated January 1st, right. 2022. Correct. The amount of $746.44. Correct. Payable to Maple Brook Mansion, issued by Clark Jones. Correct. And on the back, it's signifies it's endorsed for deposit on right no signature on it i don't 10 24 22 is the date that it was right that it was withdrawn uh, so that was after the subpoena was issued uh, that was after the and that so so a defendant still has an answer the, the question of the defendant still has an answer uh you know uh given an explanation of i think he did he said he wasn't aware of what it was uh, I'll return the original view. I just, I, I, it's, it's just hard for me to, it's hard for me to believe that that this is a coincidence. That well, defendant is based out of Ohio. Uh, my account, my bank is headquartered in Ohio, and suddenly, after a subpoena has been issued for a hearing to examine uh, 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 assets of the defendant, suddenly this money is withdrawn. You know, oh, uh, 10, 10 months later. 10 months after the fact. Connor, if I may just say something. Yes, sir. Uh, respect this. I mean, as I indicated, I'm not, I have no knowledge about this particular transaction other than to respect his own statements here today. This is a check cut by him to the defendant, which was cashed. Uh, there's no requirement that it be cashed within a certain amount of time. I mean, I guess arguably, the bank could have regarded this as a stale check. He made apparently no effort to stop payment on this check if he had any dispute with respect to that he owed the defendant. So, you know, frankly, I, this is 
This is a red herring argument of some kind. This case is over. The case before me today, C22E0834GC is a civil case. And there was a judgment entered in the amount of, can I get the copy of the judgment? No, I'm not going to copy the judgment. The check that was here. Yes, sir. Yeah, if the check was cashed and we're here for creditors exam to determine assets to pay the amount, that's it. I mean, that satisfies this judgment. You've got a separate action based on the $700 check that you wrote to them back in January was cashed in October. Do you think for some reason that that cash, that check was cashed improperly or that it represents some type of fraudulent conduct? Yeah, some type of, if they're not entitled to it, let's put not just someone up without giving it a legal theory. If you're claiming that the 746.44 was cashed in wrongfully and that a defendant is not entitled, I'm going to give each of you a copy of this. Well, I have it in my hands. Yeah, I'm sure you both have it. I do. So this is a cash, a check cash. Well, Your Honor, I look at it as obstructing justice. I think that's exactly what this is. Justice was obstructed here. And, you know, your point is duly noted that, you know, take it up, you know, at a later date at another venue. But, you know, while we're in your courtroom, you know, justice was obstructed. I have a strong argument, a strong case, you know, for that being the case. And I just want to record it, you know. Okay, well, you're noted, it's noted for the record. But the issue right now before me is, is this case satisfied? The answer is, yeah, it is. You're satisfied with it? That says a lot. So, I mean, the 540, whatever it was, represents the satisfaction of this judgment. If you believe that there's a separate cause of action that arises out of the facts that are peripheral to this one, okay, I get it. You've got another action, file it, and we'll take it up separately. If you think that the money was wrongfully taken on the 700. But do you find it suspicious, Your Honor? I'm not in the game to make things suspicious. I don't make, I can't telegraph how I feel about a case that doesn't yet quite exist. So, it happened on your watch. I was just asking. Okay, thanks. If that's it, I'll be on my way. Your Honor, I do have a proposed satisfaction of judgment for the case. Yeah, it's the court form all satisfied. It is satisfied. But it's a mockery of justice. I mean, you don't need me anymore, Your Honor, do you? Well, you can get a copy of this. No, I don't need it. It's an insult on injury. Well, I'll take that up, counsel. I'll give you a paper and give you a copy of this. That's easy. Nice thanks. You too, thank you. Okay, here's what's happening. Well, before we get to that, we all need to point at the screen and laugh at stupid. Okay? Ha, ha, ha. The best I can tell, there was some kind of a case between the landlord and the tenant. The tenant won, and it sounds like they were awarded $540-something. But in the past, the tenant had given the landlord a check that bounced. And I'll warn anybody, if you do that, what the landlord or anyone with any sense will do is they'll keep trying. They'll come, you know, Friday or early Saturday morning, and they'll try to clear that check. And it sounds like that's what's happened. He caught the guy's account with enough money to clear the check. And now the tenant is complaining. 
that uh, the check they wrote the landlord got cashed. Uh, I hate it for you, big boy. Pay your bills, you know. This uh, I, I don't know what the the problem was that uh, led to uh, led to that five hundred forty dollars, but uh, I, it don't matter. This is something completely different. I don't know. It's, it, Tickle me. <laughs> Someone cashed a check. You wrote them and you're mad about it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's just silly. <clears throat> well, okay. I saw that one and uh, I knew y'all would enjoy it. So I grabbed it as quick as I could. So um, I'm hoping to put up something else today. Um, I'll see if I can. Y'all have a good one.